Welcome to the STU Summit in Korea. Joining us today is Christos Sekos. He is the founder of Globians Pay. Uh, no, I'm uh, the CMO founder? of Globians oh, okay. Pay. CMO of Globians Pay. Um, just before we dive in, could you please give us your brief self-introduction to the uh, viewers? Yes, so uh, I'm Christos Segos. I'm currently taking care of the marketing side of Globians oh, okay. Pay. Um, that means everything that the customer touches, sees or is informed about goes through my department, um, mm -hmm. taking care of a lot of investment relations also to customers and shareholders. Mm -hmm. So um, really anything outbound facing to customers, investors or shareholders is uh, taking care of the marketing department, which I'm super proud of to be the lead. Yeah. You're the most <coughs> important guy in the company. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I'm not the most important guy in the company. We're a very versatile team. Mm -hmm. That means that everyone in our company shares or pulls his own weight. That oh. means that uh, we're not a one-man show. We have a huge team, uh, a huge uh, board of executives and mm -hmm. uh, employees that all of them pulls quite an important part in the company. Cool. Um, can you provide a brief overview of your company as well? In this Absolutely. So uh, Globines Pay focuses on closing the bridge between classical banking and blockchain. So mm -hmm. we're a banking startup. That means that we focus on acquiring banking licenses oh. and uh, licenses that would allow us to run digital stock exchanges where, of course, security token offers then tie mm -hmm. into. <coughs> that means um, we're focusing on closing the gap between global investors with adopted regulatory framework and allowing them to develop STOs, tokenize their projects, and in this case, even have the required rails to fiat or from fiat to crypto and vice versa in order to operate the market, sell their tokens on our platforms. What is the key difference between um, Globians, Binance Pay, Globians Pay. Globians Pay and other banks? Um, one of the key differences that we're super proud of is that we have a 100% no risk approach. That means oh. that we don't rely on lending out customer assets like traditional institutions yeah. would. That also means that the customer's money that is circulating within our company, banks or ecosystem okay. is not at a risk of being um, collateralized, uh, collateralized and lent away and not at a risk of going lost, so to say, in, cool. um, which ends in, of course, uh, loss for the investors or people that hold bank accounts with us. Also, we have a um, very, very versatile approach to mm -hmm. how we operate the company. That means that due to the fact that we don't focus on uh, setting up big buildings with huge lightings outside. Um, mm -hmm. We have a very low cost while operating. That means that we can be everywhere at any time, available for everyone, while not having a huge operating cost at the same mm -hmm. time. Excellent, no risk. That's an excellent point. Uh, of course, every th uh, everything has a certain risk attached to it, but mm -hmm. we don't lend away customer wow. assets. That means that uh, the assets stored at Globians Pay are mm -hmm. not prone to that risk. Cool. Then what do you have to offer when it comes to STO services? Um, we have a huge broadband of um, things that we can offer to either tokenization projects that are looking for either funding, for example, due to the mm -hmm. fact that we operate a security token launchpad that allows us to bring their security token or security to the broader masses in order yeah. to conduct a race, a public race. Um, we also help the projects or even governments. We mm -hmm. have very close ties to uh, a lot of governments, especially in the region of Latin America, um, to tokenize certain government assets, which could be bonds in this case. Mm -hmm. And um, talking about that, that also means that those bonds can then be traded in our in-house uh, digital stock exchange, which we have a regulation for in El Salvador. Mm. That means from the process of setting up the security token yeah. and selling it and actually making it tradable, you can do this all in-house. Wow. Then how has the regulatory landscape influenced your approach to STO? Um, the regulatory landscape doesn't influence us as much as it may be um, believed oh, okay. because we focus on a 100% uh, regulated approach. That mm -hmm. means that we leverage our trust in our lawyers that are state of the art, mm -hmm. um, top lawyers in the uh, regulations or areas that we work with. So we trust them, they trust us. And um, due to that, we have an approach that allows us to be active only mm -hmm. where we have the required licenses in place. Cool. Um, I heard that this is your first time to visit Korea, but what do you think of Korean STL market? Um, the Korean STO market and especially Korea when it comes to 
um, technology is a super interesting market because I see that the young generation in Korea, yeah. especially people below, let it be 28 mm -hmm. and below, like 16 to 28, yeah. are super, super uh, interested in anything uh, sure. technology-wise. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I'm super um, looking forward to how the Korean regulator is going to help the space yeah. grow in this area and mm -hmm. especially how younger people will get access to investment vehicles or uh, security tokens in this case that would allow them to um, invest in things that weren't feasible for them before. So imagine you could buy government bonds on the Globians Pay um, digital stock exchange. That would be something that yeah. you wouldn't have access mm. to right now, th which sure. we're making possible. Mm, very interesting. Then as the SEO industry matures, what developments are you most excited about and where do you see the greatest opportunities? Um, That is a great question, actually. Mm -hmm. I do think we shouldn't differentiate in where we see great opportunities because the security token market as such is an insane opportunity for the new generation that okay. we see growing up right now. Yeah. Not especially just Gen Z, but the generation before that also mm -hmm. has quite a lot of access to the means to access the internet, access digital currencies, exec uh, mm -hmm. access um, security tokens. So what I'm most um, looking forward to is really the fact that you will or the security token um, framework will allow people to take part in investments that weren't feasible for them as i said before up until now and uh, i hope that the regulators will make it possible for almost everyone all over the world mm. to partake in a great future for security tokens yeah. and especially investments cool um, looking ahead what trends do you anticipate in the sto industry and how is your company preparing for them As I um, briefly mentioned before, mm -hmm. uh, we ha keep very close ties to a lot of governments okay. that are seeking to tokenize assets that are uh, government held right now. That means one of the trends that I'm anticipating the most is really uh, the tokenization of government assets, mm -hmm. which would allow a broad amount of people to invest in rather restricted markets right now. Mm -hmm. um, you can imagine it quite simply. Um, tokenize the water supply of a country that has a lot of water or tokenize mm -hmm. the oil supply of a country that has a lot of oil yeah. uh, that would open up for a Korean citizen to mm -hmm. buy in security that is state owned by a state that for example has a lot of oil and to yeah. tokenize those oil mm -hmm. shares so you as Korean could in this case acquire oil shares from a different place of the world which mm -hmm. right now isn't as feasible yeah. like how would you do this now mm -hmm. But we're looking to close this gap and make it possible for the people all over the world cool. to partake in that. Mm. Then what advice can you offer to the companies looking to embark on a similar journey and enter this SDO industry? Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> um, advice. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a quite good question. I do mm. think that it's a long way to, to get where yeah. we are right now. It hasn't been easy. Uh, we're super proud of where we are mm -hmm. and uh, what we became over the years and uh, I do think that um, the, the best advice is really to carry on and um, be compliant oh, just okay. like we are um, follow a, a similar approach in the best case mm -hmm. meaning that you comply you look ahead you look into the future into regulations you comply with those and um, keep a close tie to your regulator because mm -hmm. that's that's what uh, What, yeah, that's what brings matters. the most security mm. to, to your True. customers, of course. Yeah. Keeping a regulated approach to everything, just True. like we do. Mm. Okay, thank you so much for joining Highly us today. Highly appreciate it. Hope to thank see you, you in the near future. Likewise, thank, thank you. you.